Turning now to campaign 2020 and some of the biggest names in the Democratic race for president are right here in Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob joins us from the Pennsylvania Convention Center where the Workers Presidential Summit has just wrapped up. Dan, good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Yuki. A key demographic to maybe winning a vote in 2020 in the state of Pennsylvania could come down to the union workers here in the city of Philadelphia. And today, many Democratic candidates sharpened their pitch. I will stop it as your president. Corporate greed, union busting, health care, green energy and jobs all on the table during the first workers presidential summit at the Philadelphia Convention Center. Coal miners. Oil rig workers are not my enemy. Senator Bernie Sanders used the General Motors worker strike in Langhorne as an example, calling for American corporations to stop cutting benefits and to be good citizens, while he and former Vice President Joe Biden threatened fines for crushing unions. There should be a fine for every one of these violations of the rules for you to be able to organize of $50,000 every single time. I mean, Ian Weissman has a two-year-old and a seven-year-old at home. He says his wife was let go during the Hahnemann hospital closures when Sanders was the only candidate to come to Philly. We're doing fine, but, you know, I mean, that was, yeah, and, and I really appreciated that he came out and was on the picket line, you know, and he was at the protest. I saw him, you know, so, which I, which I just think, you know, shows that he really is there for working people. Medicare was discussed by all, including Tom Steyer, Andrew Yang, and Amy Klobuchar, including an unsubtle jab from the former vice president to one of his chief rivals. I have a, I have a significant health care plan, but guess what? Under my, you can keep your health insurance you bargain for if you like it. And guarantee health care to all people, union workers and non-union workers as a right. One notable absence tonight was Senator Elizabeth Warren, but she has said multiple times she is for Medicare for all. We're live in Center City. Dan Goob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Dan.